It's Rob. Welcome to Everyday Investor TV Show. Thanks so much for tuning in. We've been doing this show for 20 years, and it's not changed. We want to help you grow your money. You see, the challenge often is, is we take our precious time, we go to work, and we're blessed if we have a job. Um, we get a paycheck in order to eat. Let me say that again. We take our time, we go to work, we make money so that we can provide. But imagine a life where money could make you money, you could take your precious time, work a little less if you wanted to, and spend it with family, friends, engaging with a, in a purpose that's greater than yourself. That is what this TV show is all about. Remember, when anyone offers you any type of investment vehicle, you want to ask four questions to start. Number one, what's the return on investment? Number two, when do I get that return along with the money that I've put in? Number three, what's the minimum investment amount needed? And number four, what is the risk? What is the downside? We've got a great show coming up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Coming up, we're talking to my good friend, Costas Cavillos, and he's teaching us how we can make money investing in pre-construction condominiums. So what we do is we purchase opening round, which can be up to a year before construction. We're the first ones in to developers once they start sales. We basically pick floor plans. I like to joke and say that I sell a floor plan in a dream and over the course of construction, we convert that into a reality. Did you know that if you're selling your home or investment property, one of our preferred agent partners will sell it for you for free? That's right, zero commission. Head over to our website, everydayinvestor.com, and find out more. Hi, it's Steve Aho at Canada's Mortgage Choice. Have you ever wondered what the difference is between a mortgage and a HELOC, also known as a home equity line of credit, or a combination of both? They carry very different advantages and disadvantages. For example, a mortgage is a fixed payment of principal and interest. A HELOC is an interest-only payment, and you're only charged interest when you use it. These concepts are very important to understand depending on your circumstances. And if you'd really like to know more about it, please contact Canada's Mortgage Choice. We're here to help. Hey, it's Rav. A few years ago, I learned how to trade stock options by taking the Theta Trading course. My son, my friends, myself, all of us benefited immensely by applying their strategies, and I want you to have that same benefit by taking their course as well. I'm not receiving any monetary benefit whatsoever by telling you this. It's just that, as you know, I believe that knowledge mitigates risk. Visit the site to find out more. Hey, it's Rav. Welcome back to Everyday Investor. I'm talking to my good friend, Costas. Uh, Costas, it's so great to have you on the show. Um, we're you know, changing the format. We're kind of wanting to, to be a bit of a CNN uh, style where we both can be looking at the viewers at the same time. But with that, I don't get to give you a hug. I don't get to you know, catch up. So we got to make sure we go out for a drink sometime. Uh, how are the boys doing? The boys are fantastic. Um, they just competed at the Nationals for Jiu-Jitsu. Um, one of them didn't make it onto the podium. Uh, he was the favorite, but he got, he got selected into the pool of death with basically some of the top kids in the country, including himself. But a surprising thing, um, the twin that's, that's, that's more the Muay Thai expert, not the Jiu Jitsu, Jiu Jitsu arrow. He ended up getting a silver at the nationals. Wow. So I'm a very proud Papa. And they're how old now? They're turning nine this year. Nine? So, Nine, time flies and a, a lot of people bug me about how busy they are, but I'd like to say no pressure, no diamonds, right? So <laughs> no pressure, no diamonds. I like that. But it seems like yesterday they were at, in the studio. Remember we brought them on screen? Um, it seems like yesterday, but I guess that must have been, I don't know, maybe three, four years ago. I, I, I don't know. It was at least at least two, three years ago. And, and you were one of the people that I listen to always because um, we respect each other so much. And you told me because your kids are older, like cherish every single moment because time flies and it's and like their childhood is just it's a mere blink in the eye of time. And I'm experiencing that. So I'm, I'm very blessed that I have a great team behind me and it allows me to never miss an event for them and still keep the machine working. Right. So 
um, I, I consider myself really blessed. Yeah, no, no, no. And, and um, qua- quantity time is what births the quality. You know, a lot of people think, oh, as long as we just get quality time, well, it's in, in my opinion, it's impossible to manufacture quality time. Quality time is only birthed out of quantity time. So the more time you spend with your children, the more of those precious moments um, you'll have, you're creating memories, so on and so forth. Um, But this show is Everyday Investor, and that's investing in our children, investing in our marriage, investing in our mental health, investing, yes, financially. Um, And so that can be stock markets, that could be a business, that could be real estate. Um, Your niche, uh, expert niche, I mean, you, 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 you do it all per se, but your expert niche of what you invest in and what you teach other people to invest in is pre-construction condos. So why don't we start, um, you know, I love to bring you on a few times a year, uh, but, but people, you know, may not know uh, why you love this asset class, pre-construction condos. Why don't we talk a little bit about that just here right off the hop? Sure. So the major difference between, and the name says it in itself, the pre-construction condos and a traditional condo purchase, say a resale purchase, is that when you purchase something resale, it's existing already. You get keys, you need to rent it, you need to do your maintenance, you have to service your debt load on it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what I invest in is it's almost more like a, like, a, like a venture capital play. So what we do is we purchase opening round, which can be up to a year before construction. We're the first ones in to developers. Once they start sales, we basically pick floor plans. I like to joke and say that I sell a floor plan in a dream. And over the course of construction, we convert that into a reality, right? And why I do that is one, there's no debt load to service. There's no hassles. There's no tenants. There's no nothing. All you reasonably do is cut checks. Um, Two, when you're investing at such early stages, that is when you're able to capitalize on the appreciation and the growth that occurs during the construction process. And that's whether an area is gentrifying, developing, booming, transit is coming, employment opportunities are rising, new post-secondary schools are being built, etc., or just the state of the market in general. And I'm a big believer in that our market has appreciated and will continue to appreciate based on the fundamental of supply and demand. And that is fueled by record immigration that has no end in sight. So not only are you gaining wealth, equity, because areas are improving, but you're also gaining wealth, equity during the construction process, just because we can't build them fast enough and the demand keeps growing. Yeah, no, no, that's fantastic. And and again, it doesn't have to be per se, you know, right beside the CN Tower. Um, we can branch out more. Now you're doing a lot of business uh, north, west, east of the city. Um, you're, you're doing some stuff in Hamilton. You're doing some stuff up in you know Richmond Hill, uh, Durham. Uh, talk a little bit about that, that it doesn't necessarily have to be in the core. You want to try to make the numbers work. What, what are we seeing out there right now? Well, originally when we first started, we were Toronto core focused. And um, that's the center, the heart, the lifeline of the nation. And we were focused there. But as we saw prices increase um, significantly down in the core, we're selling pre-con now around 17, 1800. A deal is 1600 a foot, right? We, we realized that the affordability had really dropped for the majority of the population. So we started looking at the submarkets, the suburbs per se, and we expanded as far as Hamilton. And Hamilton was booming the last couple of years. Um, we have projects coming up in Burlington. We have projects coming up in Oakville. Uh, we're selling a project in Brampton. We're essentially building a new city in Brampton called Primon Place, Primon Place, which is even going to have its own hospital and a brand new GO station because of it. Um, thousands of units with hundreds of townhomes included as well. Um, it's really expanding. And something we've just finished researching for a year, and we're finally comfortable putting our and our investors' money in, we've started to sell Calgary as well. So we can do a whole episode on that. Um, Calgary's a landlord-friendly province, only 10% down as opposed to 20, no development charges. But what we do is we basically find opportunities that fit our first access um, condos investor criteria, whether it's in Toronto, in the submarkets directly outside Toronto, or now we've gone stayed still in Canada for the safety of the investment. But we've moved to Calgary, which was voted the number one livable city in North America. 
Tell me a little bit, I mean, we, we should do an episode on Calgary. Tell me a little bit about this one in Brampton. What's the intersection? What does it look like? Kind of give me some more specs on that. Well, I can't really get into the details yet, yet but we're going to talk about that. I'm, 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 kind of, I'm kind of under a hush agreement. I wasn't even really supposed to say as much as I said, but that's the reality. This is coming with a couple, with a couple creative Google searches. You could find that out, but they haven't released the exact location yet. I'm not supposed to talk about it, but what I will say is this is going to create a new center of Brampton. It is going to be the new focal point of that city. And it's really going to put Brampton on the map to where it needs to be. And it also, like all, all condos, condos, condos come from a necessity. They are a need, not a want. And people need an affordable place to live. And they're the number one game for affordability in town across the GTHA. And that's really going to get serviced properly by this new development in Brampton. And we're going to have more information. We're going to start talking about that more and more next month, the month after. And we're looking for a mid-summer, late-summer start on that. Perfect. Um, so here we are, middle of the spring 2023. Um, the fixed uh, rate has co- started to come down uh, a little bit. Um, what is cost us without having a crystal ball? What is your prediction? What are you seeing? Where's the economy today as opposed to yesterday? And where do you think it'll be in the summer, fall, end of the year? And why? Well, I'm going to talk, I'll tell you why. And I'm going to talk real estate because that's my my niche. And that's also where I invest my money. And you and I are savvy investors. And I believe that once, before I put a dollar into something, I've looked at it from every possible angle. Now, I've been blessed um, through hard work that the vast majority of my real estate predictions have come true over the past five years, even during the uncertainty of COVID. And what I basically said is, for whatever reason inflation was created, um, I like to blame the people in Ottawa, but we're going to leave it at that. But once they started raising interest rates, they raised it to a level that exceeded what was needed. Um, There's a three to three to four month buffer to see if the rate hikes are actually affecting inflation. So as opposed to on a wait and see, um, platform. The BOC in its usual pattern over the past 20 years, five rate hikes, exact same scenario. Okay. They over, they over increased rates. And what we saw, we saw a pause. And really we saw a pause in my opinion, as opposed to a drop because we're kind of tied at the hip to the Fed down south of the border. Right. But once they start lowering rates, we are going to see a skyrocket in our real estate prices. Currently, based on a lack of inventory, multiple offers are back with a vengeance in resale. And that's across the board, almost almost every kind of property. Pre-construction tends to fall behind and is delayed by a few months. So by the end of the spring, I'm going to see pre-construction coming back full force. And I believe RBC said this as well. By the end of the year, prices are going to be on a one-way trip to the moon, and they're going to continue over the next two years. This is further fueled by the increase in the immigration targets. And one last major underlying factor is last year, we sold close to only 50% of the pre-con that we were predicted to sell. Therefore, three, four, five, six years in the future, we're going to have half of the expected supply coming to market. And no matter what kind of research you do, we're already producing only 50% of demand. So we had 50% of supply being made in comparison to demand in a good year, and we are short 50%. So we're going to come to market over the next few years with only 25% of what is actually needed. And basic supply and demand, people, you don't need to be an economist. When supply is so significant and demand is so low, prices only go one way. To the moon, Alice, to the moon. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Fantastic. Listen, we're going to take a break. When we come back, I want to hear your five top reasons why uh, pre-construction condos as an investment is, uh, you know, uh, going to the moon and why you like it so much. Don't go anywhere. We're talking to my buddy Costas, really smart ca- guy um, in all areas, but especially when it comes to investing. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Did you know that if you're selling your home or investment property, one of our preferred agent partners will sell it for you for free? That's right, zero commission. Head over to our website, everydayinvestor.com, and find out more. Hey, what's going on? This is Kyle here from Kyle Ford Mortgages. On today with my better half, Chelsea, we have a very exciting announcement. You've asked, we've delivered. 
We have a really exciting event. So mark your calendars, June 9th to 12th. We have networking, mastermind, some awesome content. We have a pool party, a beach party, a black tie gala. We've got it all. And you can rent your very own cottage or have an awesome room at the Kiwi Motel. If you're looking for all things real estate, whether it's short-term rentals, long-term rentals, private lending, creative financing, whatever it may be. Not only great content, but great people, good times. You absolutely do not want to miss this. Make sure you check out the link. Hey, it's Rob. Welcome back to Everyday Investor. I'm talking to my buddy, my brother, Costas. He's talking to us about how we can make money, how we can grow our money, investing in pre-construction condos. Costas, always great to have you on the show, I love your sign behind you. First access condos, uh, be first, because who wants to be second, right? Uh, so Be first, if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> there you go. So um, give me your top five reasons um, why we love this asset class so much. 100%, reason number one, we have extended deposit structures. We, so explain that. Okay, and I will. When you're purchasing an investment property in Canada, you have to put 20% down, and that's rules from the CMHC. Now, pre-construction is 20% down, but what we have, as opposed to resale, where you have to put the 20% down in 30, 60, 90 days, depending on the terms of your contract, then you take possession. We have an extended deposit structure, and recently, deposit structure has been extended to combat the drop in sales volume at 5% a year. So you're only putting down 5% a year with the final five at occupancy. That's when you get your keys, but you're leveraging your deposits against the purchase price and you're making gains based on the purchase price. So for the first year, you've only put 5% down, but you're generating equity based on the 100% purchase price. So, so you're leveraging 95% comparison to your five. So and what, that is how you make money. So what you're saying is... Uh, generally speaking, I just in the first year I'm putting down five percent. Okay, yeah, that's one of the deposit structures currently available. Yes, in, in the first year I'm putting down five percent, but in that first year, um, the purchase price has gone up five percent, if not more. Yes, so I've made a hundred percent on my money. Sometimes more, sometimes less, but that's what we're aiming for right there, and that's the norm. That's what you're saying. So, so, so again, if this property just for giggles is 100K, you know, because we're buying it in Kappa's casing. Uh, I only need to put down 5%, but next year, if this property is worth 105K, well, I've just made, I've just doubled my money in one year um, if it goes up 5%. And your uh, history says it's gone up much more than that, but I'm just saying that's one of the reasons why you love it so much. That is, the, that is the first and foremost reason. And that extended deposit structure allows people who may not have thought they would have an opportunity to enter the real estate market to get in. Real estate is not only for the wealthy, and it shouldn't be. But in the next few years, in the next decade, there's an estimate and a prediction that like other major metropolises in the world, Manhattan, Hong Kong, et cetera, over 90% of downtown real estate will be owned by less than 20% of the population. And that's quickly where Toronto's going and our sub-markets, the GTHA around us. So this is an opportunity for me to assist people and get them into the market when they thought they would never be able to via the extended deposit structures. Okay, so before we get to number two, talk a little bit about, because then people are wondering, well, how can Costas get me in? Talk a little bit about the largest real estate board in the world. Uh, you know, last time I checked, the Toronto Real Estate Board, I think there's 70 plus thousand agents 70 in the trust. Uh, you belong to the largest brokerage in all of uh, Canada. Um, but what does, tell me about uh, Costas Cavillos in, within the largest brokerage, within the largest um, real estate board and how you have access as opposed to other people. Just touch on that so people understand what you can do as opposed to my cousin Vinny, my cousin Vinny who's also a realtor. Okay, well, um, since we last spoke, I've also been hired by the Toronto Real Estate Board to teach fellow realtors on how to invest in pre-construction. So not only am I an avid investor, 
I'm an avid real estate and investment consultant, but I'm also now the educator for 70,000 other realtors like myself to bring them up to speed for the future of real estate in our city. In addition to that, I'm what is, and, and also at the, I'm part of Canada's you know, largest independently run brokerage. I was a one man show up until recently, and I was uh, number one in sales volume uh, in 2021. I was number five out of over 6,000 in 2022. Um, so these are just some of the numbers and maybe a background as to why people should pay a little bit of attention when I speak about this. They can ignore me about everything else, but when I talk about this, they should pay attention. It'll benefit them. Um, and in the, in the meantime, I'm, I've always been in, and for the past six years, and I'm currently what is called a platinum agent. So out of 70,000 realtors, there's less than 100 of us out of that 70,000 that work directly with developers and the large sales teams. And we have what is known as first access to these projects. If a project starts selling today, I would have information months prior. So I might have a key plate, which is the floor plan of an entire floor. I'll definitely have an average price per square foot. So I can ballpark you what the cost of a one bed, two bed, three bed, et cetera, is months before anyone else. And having that ability gets you, the buyer, ready long before the rest of the herd. And that's essential. And we call ourselves first access condos because first crack at a project is when you get the best price and the best selection. And because it's sold in a series of stages, price goes up sometimes in a weekend. So it is imperative to maximize your investment by buying first. And that's why you don't have to use me. I would love it if you did, but you can also use someone like me. And there's only about 99 others out of 70,000. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So you explain what a platinum agent is. That's why you have first access um, to the sales center when it first comes out. Uh, the five things we talk about why you love this so much. The first was the extended deposit structure. What's number two? The buzzwords in the media and in everyone's mouth recently was inflation and interest rates. Pre-construction condos, because you're buying something today, but it's not closing for four, five, six years into the future. It is a hedge. One against current interest rates, because like I said before, the BOC operates on a cyclical pattern. Our rates are scheduled are to come down today, again, based on the past 20 years. And number two, against inflation. A dollar in the bank last year is not what a dollar in the bank is worth today. So investing in pre-construction hedges against the inflationary pressures on your hard-earned money. So when people say... Rav, you know, why would you invest today? Well, it depends on what I'm investing in. If I'm investing in land, land development, uh, uh, pre-construction condominiums, you know, so on and so forth, which is part of land development, if I'm investing that today, we're, you know, we may be getting the land cheaper today. But the sales, the, 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 the price over time, land goes up over time, the price of it. So if I buy it today, but it's not ready for four to six years, I've made all that growth, but I didn't have to put any more money in uh, per se. I didn't have to get a mortgage. I didn't have to find a tenant. I didn't have to close on it. All I needed to do was put down my deposit, but even point number one, that's extended. That's what you're saying? Exactly, exactly. Okay. Love it, love it. Buying something today, but, but really appreciating the value four to six years from now. Mm -hmm. Okay, third. We have years to watch our product appreciate. So even if there's a blip and there's a few months of a downturn, you have the course of four, five, six years for not only for the market to bounce back, but to continue in its upward trend. And that's what I really like about this. It also hedges against that as well. We know in the city of Toronto, homes tend to, based on the past 20 plus years, double in value every decade, okay? And this allows you, by being built close to half a decade, it allows you to weather any storms that could arise and almost guarantee that your product's gonna be worth more than what you purchase it for. I find it near impossible for someone to buy in the first round and not be making money by the time it's ready. Yeah, so um, a number, number one is we have a staggered deposit. I don't need much out of pocket. Uh, number two, again, it's four, four to six years later. So again, I'm not having to worry about uh, things like a mortgage, tenant, so on and so forth until later on. Um, but thirdly, you're saying the price, even if the market goes up and down, it goes up and down upwards. And so I'm still getting this growth. I don't necessarily have to worry about that. Yes, and we heard about, we heard exactly, we heard a lot in the news about um, 
some poor individuals that bought low rise houses last year and they bought at the peak of the market and 12 months later, they lost their shirts. Well, that doesn't happen with pre-construction. If you have that buffer of time and when it comes to real estate in our ever growing city, time is something of a bonus and you should capitalize on by taking advantage of it. Yeah, perfect. Number four. Zero carrying costs throughout the whole construction process. You had basically touched on these and they said, when we buy a resale and we have the product, we have the keys, we need to one, find a tenant. Two, we need to service our debt loads, which are mortgages, insurance, maintenance fees, uh, utilities, et cetera, et cetera. Those costs can skyrocket you know, if you had a variable mortgage and you had to experience what happened in the past 12 months. Pre-construction has none of the headaches and all of the benefits for the entire duration of construction. Love it. Love it. We don't have to. The, the, absolutely. And then what I also love is, unless this is number five, I love my options for the exit. I mean, our plan should always be um, to um, close on it, tenant it out, so on and so forth. But we sometimes have options. We can assign it because we've made so much money. We could sell it right away if we wanted to. We could live in it for a year and then sell it. So the other thing I love is because it gives you time, we have different options in terms of how we want to exit, yes? We have three options to exit, the ones you just described. And any time you make an investment or you do anything in life, you don't wanna pigeon your, pigeonhole yourself with only one exit strategy. We have three options. But I didn't include that because that is something that's kind of the icing on a cake around the entire thing. My last one and the greatest one is because we're here to tell people how to make money. So I'm going to talk about the money aspect. And this is my number one reason for being such a proponent of pre-construction condos. Over the past decade, no aspect of real estate has performed anywhere close to as well for bringing you a return on your investment than pre-construction condos. Condos bought in 2016, 2017 and closed in the last couple of years were generating for myself, for you and for our friends and family and clients, 250 to 300% gross returns on their deposit. That works out to approximately 50% annualized returns. And no matter what investment stream you've invested in, I dare you to come close to that with the safety that this provides you. Well, listen, my friend, time flies when we're having fun. You just made that statement. You're um, always uh, accurate. You have the factual information. That's not your opinion. So I want to ask the viewers, if Costas doesn't mind, to verify even more to, because people are watching now and saying, no way, that's too good to be true. And they're feeling inspired. You don't mind if they uh, uh, call you, get a hold of you to even verify and then find out about the future projects like Brampton, like Hamilton, you know, like out in, in Durham. We're good with that? A hundred percent. And this is what I'm going to tell our viewers. Um, the difference between me and others is because I'm an avid investor, the examples I will use to verify my claims are products that I myself have purchased, not just my clients. I'm going to use multiple examples from my own portfolio to show you where I have contracts in hand and I have mortgage payments on them, where I will tell you these are real factual numbers. And the largest hurdle Rav and I have when we are explaining this to others is that the numbers sound too good to be true. Totally. Costas, love you. Uh, say hi to the lady, the boys. Thanks so much for uh, being on the show. We'll have you back soon. See you soon. Not soon enough, my friend. Thank you very much. Yes. And thank you guys for watching. Without you, we would not have a show. Uh, to watch this one again, make sure you go to everydayinvestor.com. You can watch this show. You can watch any past shows. Um, and then make sure you also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, hit uh, like, subscribe, uh, all that kind of stuff so that you can get it right inside of your inbox. Uh, we'll see you next week. Same place, same time. Honey, I love you. I'll be home soon. Bye, everyone.